Hello, Sinish Cry. Welcome back to another episode of Skyrim. Last time I left off, I was going to, uh, check out, uh, Stjorns, Bjorns, whatever his name was, his, uh, info on, uh, how he was suddenly able to get this brewery up so quickly. I believe I have to... Okay, I thought I had to go around this way, but... Oh, wait, yes, there's a door there. Okay. Thank you for the key. Get here. Promissory note. This one we will actually read. Sayorn. Sabjorn. Sabjorn. That's what it was. Within the enclosed crate you'll find the final payment. As we discussed, honey brew meadery should now begin brewing meat at full production. In regards to your concern about interference from, ah, uh, Maven Blackbar, I can assure you that I'll do everything in my power to keep her assets and her cronies at bay. This is the beginning of a long, successful future for both of us. Apparently not that successful. Sayorn. Sabiorn, this is my third and final offer. I feel that I've been more than generous with the amount I've saved to buy, buy your meadery. There's no reason for competition to stack with both our businesses. Unified, we could make Black Buyer meet a household name and bury anyone else who tries to start a similar business in Skyrim. If you wish to accept my offer, please come to Riften and stay at my manor as a guest. I think I find that being part of the Black Buyer family would be lucrative and life-saving. <laughs> lucrative and life-saving. have more lock picks between now and last episode even though it's the same area I did actually I need to move to canter Take the coin purse coin purse what else do you have here mm, just a few fine clothes silver ingots I think I'll leave those I don't know, I don't like stealing too much. As weird as that sounds, especially coming from me. But, level up. Uh, we are going for more health, yes. Reason is because, in between our last episode... Is it sneak? I thought I put points into this. Must have reloaded, didn't. Oh, an assassin's blade, definitely. Oh. Stop it. There we go. Block smithing is now 75. Oh, yeah. And I got this one where I can improve magical weapons and armor. And glass smithing. Now I need 100 for dragon smithing. But, oh well. I'll eventually get to that. It's gonna be tough, but I can do it. Now we quickly head to Riften. <laughs> I bought some malachite, which I believe is what I need for uh glass equipment. I hope it is, otherwise I just bought a bunch of malachite for no reason. Head to Riften. I need to report in, but at the same time I'm gonna drop by the blacksmith and see if I can make a few pieces of uh, glass armor and see how it looks. It's expanded in the organizations. A few remaining members have gone into hiding. The emperor is not... Whatever. Soldiers and souls in them are used to create and charge magic weapons and armor. Hmm, I should do that. Ah, uh, let's report in. I don't know if that letter I read was actually signed. Oh well. If Who was helping you? Got the coin. You've come to the right place. Pull up a seat. Hello. I trust you have good news for me. Job's finished. Here's information you requested. This doesn't tell me much. The only thing that could identify Sabion's partner is this odd little symbol. Yes, I've seen that symbol before. Well, 
Whoever this mysterious marking represents, they'll regret starting a war with me. <laughs> you should bring this information to the Thieves' Guild immediately. There's also the matter of your payment. I believe you'll find this more than adequate for your services. Iron Dagger of Scorching. I believe we're done. I was hoping for a bit more than that. It's sort of pretty lackluster. Working uh, at the Rift in Fishery is tough. Are you supposed to be playing well, something? Some coin. <laughs> you have questions, Edda? Uh... Please, please, I need but a septum. A septum is all I ask. Is that so bad? Protect yourself, right? Need Let's something? Ah, oh, yeah, that's the guy who uh, I stole Help from. Me. I'm going to lose my job at the Rift and Fishery. Oh yeah, I, need to I really to you. need your. Oh, my aching head! Why do I do this to myself? You might lose your job. My job at the Rift and Fishery is in danger. The owner, Bolly, said that if I show up for work in this condition one more time, then I'm out. I don't mean to do this to myself, but I can't help it. I tried some skooma a year ago, and ever since then, I can't stop. If you could give me a healing potion, I could cleanse this poison from my body and get back to my life. Sure, here you are. Your kindness will never be forgotten. Here, take this. It's all I can offer you for what you've given me. Oh, super weird, thanks. It is our most favorite company. Where do you get your skimmer? I don't think I should say. I mean, they could kill me. I think you owe me. Okay, okay, I'll tell you. Nice. I get my skooma from Sarthas Idrin. He has some sort of a setup over the Riften warehouse. Ah. You can't get inside, though. They've kept that place locked up tight since the war began. Where's the key to the warehouse? I overheard Boley say that only the Jarl carries the key to the warehouse. When I meet Sarthas there, he's usually waiting for me outside with his bodyguard. Ah. To the Jarl. You've been kind. I thank you. Ain't no doubt about it. Thieves Guild is back. And they've got yes, it is. the grid. Glass. Refined Malachite. Got plenty of that. I need leather. Three leather strips. And two refined moonstone. Damn it, I need moonstone as well. Lightly armored means lightly. Actually, do you have any? Come to see Balaman perform. Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much moonstone. anything to suit your needs. Any refined? No. Do you have a smithing? Come see me again. Over here. No, I don't think there is a smell tree around. Oh well. I'll work on the glass hammer another time. Let's pour into the Thieves Guild. Oh, I love secret entrances. It, it, that maybe that's one reason I like this so much. It's so secretive and hidden, but it's like well built. Uh, I don't know how to put it. Just love it. Okay, who am I supposed to be meeting him? Apparently over here. Come here a second. Come find me if you need more monster oh, training. Word on the street is that poor Sabjorn has found himself in White Run's prison. Yep. How unfortunate for him. Yes, very fortunate for Maven. Exactly. Are now you? you're beginning to see how our little system works. Maven sent word that you discovered something else while you were out there. Something important to the guild? The symbol from Golden Glow was involved. Then this is beyond coincidence. First Arangoth, and now Sabjorn. Someone's trying to take us down by driving a wedge between Maven and the guild. Is there anything we can do? Mercer thinks he knows a way to identify this new thorn in our side. He wants to meet with you right away. And if I were you, I'd hurry. I've never seen him this angry before. Okay. But in here, I believe... Expert? 
Adept, Master, Apprentice. I want to up my skills. You're not really allowed in here, you know. I see novice chest. Oh, maybe this way. You're not Alkyd, gold. Really allowed in here, you know. Gold lockpick, scroll of mayhem. So what else is there? Master, adept, expert. Let's try the expert next. You know you're Whoa. not supposed to be in here right now. Oh, where is that? Ah. You're not really allowed in here, you know. I'm not saying that. Gold. Adept. Whoa, that was surprisingly fast. Yes. To 41. <sighs> this one's probably going to be a bit tougher. Let me, never mind, a lot tougher. Novice robes of. I can't remember. Silver jeweled necklace, staff for a potion, and steel war axe. You know, I just want all these chests empty. A lot of people are beginning to get impressed with you here. Yeah, but me yep. included. Just wanted to let you know. <laughs> I like the fact that I was able to get my lock picking scalp and make a bit of money off of it. Speak to Mercer Frey. Ah. No time for idle chatter. Mercer is ah, there you ah, there are. I've consulted my contacts regarding the information you recovered from Golden Glow Estate, but no one can identify that symbol. I found the same marking at Hunting Brew Meadery. It would seem our adversary is attempting to take us apart indirectly by angering Maven Blackbriar. Very clever. Maybe we should recruit them. Or clever not they need to die. Don't dismiss our adversary so easily. They're well funded, patient, and have been able to avoid identification for years. However, don't mistake my admiration for complacency. Our nemesis is going to pay dearly. Okay. How can we make them pay? Because even after all their posturing and planning, they've made a mistake. The parchment you recovered mentions a gajal lie. According to my sources, that's an old alias used by one of our contacts. His real name is Gullum I. Gullamai is our inside man at the East Empire Company in Solitude. Ooh, I'm betting he acted as a go-between for the sale of Golden Glow Estate and that he can finger our buyer. Get out there, shake him down, and see what you come up with. Talk to Brynjolf before you leave if you have any questions. Okay. Speak to Brynjolf. I can't believe Gullamai is mixed up in all this. That Argonian couldn't find his tail with both hands. Don't get me wrong, he could scam a beggar out of his last septum, but he's no mastermind. Think he'll give me trouble? Trouble? Huh. He's one of the most stubborn lizards I've ever met. You have your work cut out for you. So how'd I make him talk? You're going to have to buy him off. It's the only way to get his attention. 
If that fails, follow him and see what he's up to. If I know Gullamai, he's in way over his head, and you'll be able to use it as leverage. He's going to tell us for this trail. Aye, he does indeed. And with his fingers in the East Empire Company's pie, yeah. we'll make good use of that debt. If I'm not being clear enough, that means we don't want him killed. I know. For now, just keep on his tail and he's bound to step into something he can't scrape off his boot. Good luck in solitude. Keep Golemai alive. Yeah, I'd rather have him alive. That way we can just keep on pumping him for money. I mean, in the game you can't, but in real life when you get a contact like this... Well, not really in real life either. Whatever. At least not from my point of view. <sighs> I always walk right by it. Still have quite a good bit of jobs available. Just if you're looking for some extra canter? coin. Well, well. I was looking for this little beauty. If you happen to cross any other unusual trinkets like this, be sure to bring them to me. I promise it'll be worth the effort. I think you'll find this payment to be more than fair. Nice. Another 700. Hey, this guild needs the coin. Walking away without taking work is not going to make you popular around here. What else we got? Oh, you. Huh. I suppose I can work with your face. After all, the sculptor cannot always choose the finest clay. What are you talking I about? I assumed you were here to see me about your face. To have it sculpted into something more artful than nature has bestowed upon you. So, are you here as a client? Shall I remake your face? I'm good. Mm hmm. Ready for Welcome to the cozy little fam. Well, Why don't beans. you take a look at some of my merchandise and we'll see what kind of deal we can make. Keeping the bean a jar. Cup. I'll sell that. Deer and elk hide. I'll need to break down into leather. I wonder how many of these are stolen. Until a little hand disappears. Ah, there we go. Uh, Lockpicks, don't really care. Pity soul gems, don't care. Ah, uh, steel arrow, that's fine. Maybe we can just actually sell stuff that I just didn't sell, like silver ruby ring, silver jeweled necklace. She holds a lot of money, so I might as well use her. Ah, uh, hmm. Guide to better thieving. Oh yeah, the goblets. What else is there? No, definitely not selling that. I think that's everything I want to sell. Mm hmm And let's continue with this quest line. I don't get I want to get decently far. But go am I, huh? He's in solitude where I have a huge bounty on my head, so I don't really relish going there. I don't have much of a choice. It's to pay it off. Talk to the new king. Map. Yeah, I still want to continue doing this quest line. I guess I didn't really need to open that place. really want to... wait, there's a smith here. Maybe I can get the last few things that I... No, damn it. Am I safe? What 
quick save. Maybe I am. The Winking Skeever. So, what do we have here? Mm. Here about Golden Glow Estate. I don't deal in land or property. Now, if you're looking for goods, you've come to the right person. You can drop that now. Got your lie. Oh, wait. Did you say Golden Glow Estate? Uh, my apologies. I'm sorry to say I know very little about that uh, bee farm, was it? He acted as broker for its new owner. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. I can't be expected to remember every deal I handle. Ride the buyer will forget what we know. I don't care what you promise. If I tell you the buyer's name and word gets around, it can ruin me. Make me the buyer's name or I'll kill you. Hasn't Mercer Frey taught you people anything? You kill me, and your only contact with the East Empire Company vanishes. That's not smart for business. What would it take to identify the buyer? Well, now that you mention it, there is something I've been trying to get my hands on. I have a buyer looking for a case of Firebrand wine. There just so happens to be a single case in the Blue Palace. Bring it to me, and we'll talk about Golden Glow Estate. Okay. I do like the music there. Nice voice. Gargles are magical creatures that can... Uh, the yard, you have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. What say you in your defense? Smart man. Now come along with us. We'll take any stolen goods and you'll be free to go. Oh. Does that mean I lost it? Ah, damn it. I need to reload my game. Because... They will take all of the stolen items, including ones I want to keep. But I can show you off my house this episode, at least. Not much adventuring this episode, just talking, going from place to place. But I can show off the house. I added an animal pen here. Why can't I... oh. And here, back of the house. This is my trophy area. And let's see. And this is a garden where I can plant things. I'll probably eventually do that. Actually, can I plant anything right now? Giant lichen? Mushroom gourd? Don't really find gourds that much. Something's already growing there. I'll just leave it and see what happens. Oh crap, I wanted to leave her outside. Oh well. I don't want her knocking stuff over in my house. I had to really pick up a pot. I'm right behind you. Wait here. As you wish, my thane. Okay. Here I made everything except mounted snowy saber head. Ah, uh, good, I just need leather strip and two saber cat tooths. Teeth. Tooths. Ah, uh, let's see, saber cat tooth. No PQR. Saber cat tooth. I only have two of them? Weird. Would have thought I would have had more. And yet, I've started to add uh, furniture here, and here I'll actually be able to start making trophies, like the large ones, you can get bears, chorus, why are there, oh, okay, bear, bear, chorus, cow, deer, dragon skulls, draugr, dwarven sphere, falmer, a whole bunch of type of creatures that you can just have on display. Definitely, not, I want to have the dragon one there, but that's going to be a while. Oh, and I put that sword there. That's my double. <laughs> I figured why not. Uh, items. 
Okay, let's get that. Deer hide and elk hide. Slinius. Elk hide. Deer hide. And I can just melt down that. Slinius. Find moonstone. Yes. Now that should be able to let me make my first piece. No, not yet. I need two refined moonstone. Maybe I have some here. Fine moonstone. You know what? Take it all. Glass. Doesn't that look gorgeous? Glass helmet. Okay, leather, leather strips. Of course, I'm going to need to improve this. Epic, yes. See how this looks on me. And how much armor it gives. Elven helmet is 32. Glass helmet is 44. Guild armor is 78. 96. Ah, oh, that looks gorgeous. Oh, that's gonna look really nice. You can actually see through the glass before you couldn't. That's one thing I really like about it. What do we need for the rest? I need t two leather strips. Four leather strips. Do I have leather on me? Yeah, I probably do. There's the last of the leather. I hope none of those needed leather. Okay, I needed leather for the boots. And of course leather for the gauntlets. But there's one thing. Elk okay, both of those elk hide were stolen. So there's my other leather. Two leather added, that should be enough. Glass. Boots. Yes. Gauntlets. Yes. there glass boots yes epic ah I need more refined malachite I don't have any malachite do I moonstone no and no put all this in here all the hides and the pelts That's a lot of elk hide. And goat. Oh, wait. I am taking it out, not putting it in. Oh, I'm an idiot. Yes, here we go. Uh, glass. No. Goat hide, yes. Horse hide. All the iron. Find. I'll work on that saber cat pelt another time. Okay, that should be everything that needs to go into there. I should probably actually equip what I have. No, oops. Glass armor. Glass boots. Ah, minus three. Haha, <laughs> you can see my feet in there. But still, that looks pretty nice. Just need to replace the gauntlets. And we're pretty much out of time, so I'm actually going to end the, the episode here. Let's see if I can get some more uh, malachite. 
finish it off, maybe make some malachite weapons as well. Yeah, for my friend here, I should probably make like a malachite uh, shield and sword would be very nice for her. But, yeah, as I was saying, if you like, like, subscribe. If you don't, don't. But, hope to see you next episode. Take care.